what's up everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna talk about something that everybody should be keeping in their car just in case. And that is the 31 piece uh, tire patch kit here in my hand. All right, so what I've done here is I've actually laid out the entire kit here in the trunk of my car. Uh, what they do, what they do give you, I like about this kit and what actually made me buy this particular kit is they give you a small set of uh, needle nose pliers so that you can actually remove whatever it is that you pick up in your tire, be that a nail or a screw or whatever. Uh, this way you don't have to keep a separate set of pliers in the car. It also fits in that nice little kit over there. Now, once you actually have whatever it is um, that's in your tire, basically remove the obstruction. They actually give you the uh, this little spiral auger tool bit here. Essentially it goes in there and you're going to screw it into the tire and then pull it around. That's actually going to make it a nice round hole. That way you can actually basically feed one of these rope plugs into the tire itself. What you're going to do is you're going to take one here out of the plastic, kind of put it in this little, uh, you would feed it through the hole here, use the, uh, use the needle nosers to pull that one through and then basically push this one into the tire until you hit the stop and then you would pull it straight out. Uh, another reason why I got this particular kit is because it has the uh, has the T-handles on them. I've seen a lot of kits where it's almost like a screwdriver, and then if you're pressing into a tire, you have to press this in. It's a lot easier to press a T-handle than like basically pressing on like a screwdriver if it's straight. So this is actually, it was the, the pliers, and the T-handles are the reason why I picked up this particular kit. After you're done, you're gonna have to trim the excess rope, so they actually give you this little, uh, this little breakaway folding knife. So you have all of the pieces required to do a plug repair, do a, a tire patch, in that little kit that you can put right under the trunk of your car. Now, I guess it's a little bit of a bonus here is they actually give you these little, uh, this little tire valve stem tool so you can actually remove your tire valve stems. I've never had to remove one in any of my repairs, but it's nice to have it. And they also have some two little, uh, kind of point, I'm pointing to them here. You have those little uh, replacement valve stems as well. But all in all, everything over here on the side of the kit is what you would need to do a roadside tire uh, repair. And they even, even a nice little QR code you can scan that goes to a video instructions on how to actually use the kit, which I thought was a nice touch from uh, from Outtown. And then as you can see here, it all goes in its nice little uh, nice little carrying case. You can put your instructions in there as well. And then basically what you're going to do has a nice little little zipper pouch that's about the size of like a CD case. I'm actually going to put this here under the trunk of the car so that uh, it's always there. And hopefully I never need it. But in the event that I do, I'm going to be glad that I have it. So again, for the price I paid to have this little nice kit, piece of kit in the car, you can see it's very small. I can hold it here in one hand. It's going to fit just about in any glove box, under any floor, under a seat cushion, wherever you have that little nook and cranny inside your car. It's going to be something that's going to be nice, especially if you're traveling and uh, you can't get yourself to a tire shop or you pick up a nail. So again, it's going to be a small little investment to kind of just stay prepared while you're out there on the road. Hey, real quick, if you like what you see in this video and you want to purchase one for yourself, I've left links to everything here in the description. And if you want more no-nonsense, no BS product reviews, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the, uh, hit the bell so you don't miss one.